Hello friends, welcome to Java EE EJP JPA tutorial. In this sub series, we are dealing with the message driven bean and JMSQ. Now we are at the final part of the video MDB consuming the queue message. We previously had a dummy implementation for on message handler. In this video, we are going to implement this message handler so the implementation will be uh, mdb will uh, consume the queue message and the queue message was done in the previous video the jsp file acted as a message producer and it placed a text message in the jms queue all right now we will go ahead and read that test message I mean the text message and display that in the console window. These are all the slide decks from previous uh, six parts. So it can quickly review this. So in the last video, we sent the text message to the JMS queue, free shipment audio queue. Now we will go ahead and read this message. So here we are going with the on message handler. So first we write message taken for processing. So if you see here the on message handler is receiving the message as a parameter and we are typecasting that as a text message. And we are holding the reference here msg. Then this is the text message instance right we are making call to get text that will provide you the string and now we have the message written by the JSP producer if you see this is what the message string then from this we constructed the text message and after constructing the text message the JSP uh, file acted as a producer and it uh, made a call to send method to place the message text message which is nothing but this uh, string um, so the send method goes to the wildfly container and uh, the wildfly implementation of jms specification will place this uh, text message i mean uh, by this time the uh, queue will be having this uh, text message and the other part of JMS will uh, keep on pulling that uh, message queue and when a new message arrives uh, it takes that uh, message queue and uh, calls this on message on the MDB Maybe because the MDB is uh, subscribed to the same uh, text message right let's say this is the text message queue here message will be placed if there are previous messages uh, message will be retrieved one by one and when uh, the JMS retrieves this message it will go here alright since our text message is having this a uh, caret symbol that's how we separated it we are making use of the substring function and we are finding the index of this one then using the str substring position 0 position 0 to this index 
this will give us the booking person name then in the next line from this uh, carrot position we are taking the carry weight and both we are printing here to the system console so requested by the person name and net weight so how uh, how much of weight he want to ship using this uh, free shipping service both the stuff we are printing after that if you see this is hbin which is nothing but our uh, uh, stateless session bin and in stateless session bin we introduced this long running task right here we are making call to get free shipment number we know that this will wait for 16 seconds well, because we have a thread or sleep there to mimic this as a long running process so here the on message will wait for 16 seconds but when on message is waiting for here for 16 seconds the browser already re uh, received a response well, because um, the message sender after sending it it will immediately return and provides the response string right so this is asynchronous and uh, uh, there are two parts that's what we are saying one is the message producer he will add something to the queue and the queue message will be retrieved one by one and mdb plays the consumer role here so mdb is waiting for here for 16 seconds so there will be no hang on the browser why because after placing the queue message our server immediately returned with a response stating that your request received uh, all the stuff we already discussed so we don't need to reiterate that but here let's concentrate on the uh, mdb implementation so after putting these two message here it is waiting for 16 seconds and once the long running task returns it uh, uh, displays the message so here this will give us a randomly generated serial number and we will be getting a shipment id serial number for the same stuff for the user who is requested that's all now we will go to eclipse and implement this okay now we will load our uh, workspace and uh, implement the on message handler of our uh, message driven beam which was subscribed to the message queue in which we previously wrote the message using the JSP file. So this is the message producer part and if you see the JSP file using the message producer already sent the data, I mean the text message data. Now we will go to EJB Beam, expand MDB. And we will go ahead and implement on message handler. So in the on message handler, first we will print a message stating that uh, message was uh, taken for processing from the uh, free shipment REQ or the message delivered to the on message handler next we will read the text message so this is from javax.jms get text so it is asking to surround this with a try and catch we will click this So even though it asked for uh, only get text we will or we will go ahead with the uh, same
and then we will print the content content in the sense here it is the serial number returned by this uh, open implementations here if you see this is since uh, uh, remote interface I am just uh, clicking the control first placing the cursor here then uh, clicking the control when I move it it shows both open declaration and implementation I am clicking on the implementation and if you see this we are pretending as a long running uh, task so this is a random number generation and uh, the method is here waiting for uh, 16 seconds after that we are uh, returning that uh, number after that wait period is over all right and that's all here Now we will start our uh, server. and we will deploy our archive file all right now we will go to here let me do the clear EJB web project and book free shipment run as run on server. So it may take some time. So I just parcel the video and it took almost 12 seconds. Alright, now we will copy this. URL here our console window is free well, because um, there are three messages server is writing to the console window and you can see that requested by which person is requesting it net weight to be shipped then a shipment ID and message taken for processing there are four messages we are writing on the on message handler now let's go ahead here and let's say there are three person so like this here we've opened three tab and uh, we are displaying the same content here let's say three person is uh, booking it so Kapil Kumar is uh, requesting to ship 50 kg and Bashir is asking to ship 65 kg and John David is asking to ship 45 kg all right um, all right now we will uh, all right now we will do the booking Kapil Kumar is taking uh, the book shipment next uh, Mohammad Bashir is doing it then John David is uh, doing it so shipment is arrived for Kapil Kumar then for Mohammad Bashir then for John David and if you see these messages are already appeared here why because uh, 
Kumar. Uh, Kapil Kumar, after filling the 50 kg, he clicked a book shipment and he immediately got the response. The shipment request posted, log in tomorrow to get your free shipment ID. Or um, if our application here, instead of placing the stuff in the console window, if it sends a email, then here um, the message will be you will be getting a email once the shipment ID is arrived. So first Kapil Kumar posted the request, then Mohammad Bashir posted the request, and finally John David posted a request to ship uh, a 45 kg. Right. Then shipment ID for uh, Muhammad, uh, who is the first person, Kabil Kumar is 9078 and for Muhammad Bashir this is the shipment ID and for John David this is the shipment ID and if you see the first request posted by Kapil Kumar was at uh, uh, 8.47 p.m for 8, 847.40 here if you see 847.56 um, almost uh, 16 seconds right that's the thread dot sleep so here we mimicked it as a uh, long running pro process so in real world the shipment id uh, may get received within a 2 hour or 3 hour even 12 hour it depends on the uh, network queue all right and you also saw the browser session doesn't hang for the 16 seconds so because in the browser session the person who posted the request immediately got the response so that's the usage of a message driven beam and here you saw uh, we examined both message producer part as well as message consumer part. Alright, now we will close our uh, browser session and we will stop the component. Then we will remove it. Then we will stop our server as well. So that's all here in this video, and we are uh, concluding our uh, uh, EJB series. So we started with the uh, stateless session beam then we traveled through stateful session beam in the stateful session beam we implemented uh, uh, shopping cart related stuff and we saw how the cart information was remembered in between the session then we switched back to the stateless session beam and uh, uh, we tied that with the jpa so stateless session bean and jpa hibernate together achieved the goal of the legacy entity bean so here we doesn't study entity bean instead of that we studied the equivalent of um, stateless session bean with uh, jpa and then finally we moved into mdb and we saw how mdb is suitable for a long running uh, task so Q we studied here and topic will be the same similar and I am leaving it I am leaving it to you for exploration and we will conclude our EJB EJPA uh, series here. Thank you for watching. Bye.